In this tutorial, I want to show you a fun little feature. I don't use it a lot, but it's fun to play with, and it's called Anchored Objects. It's literally a way to copy and paste photos in line with your type. So I'm going to go to File and Open. In Chapter 4, Folder 22, here's Anchoring Objects. I got a simple list of the states. Okay, what I want to do is show the state quarters that came with these states. Now, I've already laid out my text. I need room to show the corner, uh, the quarters. So I'm going to just pull this text over a little bit. And then I would have to hit Command D for a document. I'll come down and we'll pick California. I'm going to click and drag. I want the quarter to be right about there. Okay, and I'll kind of move it kind of center line with the word California. I can hit W for preview. And actually, I'm not going to have much room for the Delaware quarter. They're going to bump into each other. So I'm going to hold Command and Shift. Just make this quarter a little bit smaller. There we go. Put it in line with California. Now, what I can do is take this box, if I want all my quarters to show up the same, shift key and option key. I'm gonna drag a copy right down to there. I'll let go of the mouse first. But now I want this to be the Delaware quarter. Command D, and I pick Delaware. Okay, it's a little bit smaller because the original graphic was a little bit smaller, but shift and option make a copy, Command D, and I'll pick New York. There we go. Shift and Option, drag, Command D, and we don't have Arizona. Okay, uh, let's click Cancel on that. Let's uh, go to my type, highlight Arizona, let's delete it from the list, there we go. Click, Command D, let's pick Washington, there we go. Shift and Option, drag a copy, Command D, and let's pick Oregon. All right, so there's our list of quarters. The problem is those quarters are all separate from my list, and I can get a huge mess on the page. It's all, it's all separate, I can tear it all apart, which obviously I don't want to do. So I'll hit Command Z a couple of times. There we go. And what I want is these quarters to stay in line with my type. Now one way to do this is to select everything and group it. That can be a problem though. Because if I put my group right up here and then I decide to change my type, I can highlight the type independent of the quarters and now change the amount of letting. Just kind of push my words apart. Well, great. Now they don't line up anymore because this text frame was separate from the quarters. It doesn't look like it right now because I made a group, but if I ungroup that, every box is separate. And that's where you can run into trouble. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is select these quarters and delete them okay with this list I'm gonna take my type tool and click right before the word California inside the text frame and then I'm gonna go with command D for a document let's just paste a photo right there in the text now this little anchor shows up. This is an anchored object. And what that means is InDesign thinks this is a letter. So when I click with my black arrow and click, they all move together. Press and hold. And you can see how the quarter moves with the rest. So I can highlight right there and let's see if I can make this smaller, like a font. Nope, not gonna do it. InDesign pasted it in as a font, 
but it still recognizes it as a separate image. You can see the picture frame right there. So I can click with my black arrow, hold Command and Shift. We'll just shrink that quarter down a little bit right there. But I want it lined up with the word California. So I'm going to highlight right here. Let's see if I can do a baseline shift. Here is my baseline shift. You can hover over that. Hit the down arrow. And just like any other type, I can push this graphic, which InDesign is looking at as if it were a font. I could push it down in line with the word California. I think that's a cool feature. Now I can click in between, hit the space bar a couple of times just to push them apart. So let's see if I can do this now. Click, I'm gonna say edit, copy. Now I'm gonna take my type tool, click right before Delaware, edit, paste. Okay, there we go. Click, command D, and let's grab the Delaware quarter. Awesome. All right, I forgot the letting or the, um, baseline shift so I can just click right up here highlight this quarter and say okay it was negative 33 so I want to match that let's highlight right here type in the baseline shift negative 33 and return click before the D and hit two spaces so I'm going to keep doing that click before New York command V to paste Click before Washington, Command V. Let's just get our graphics in there. Click before Oregon, Command V. Now I'm going to highlight every quarter right here and type in a baseline of negative 33 and return. <clears throat> highlight right before Washington, negative 33 for my baseline shift. Highlight right before Oregon. Highlight my baseline shift, negative 33. Okay, all my quarters are in line. I'm going to click right before New York and hit the space bar twice. Before Washington, hit the space bar. Before Oregon. Now I just need to switch out my quarters. Click with the black arrow, Command D, and find New York. Click with the black arrow, Command D, and find Washington. Click with the black arrow, Command D, and find Oregon. And now, since these are anchored objects, the whole thing will move. Whoops, don't hit my photo. The whole thing will move together. All as one. Great. I love it. There we go. Now, here's the other cool part. Let's say I decide I want Oregon. Let's pull this text frame a little bit lower. I want Oregon to show off a little bit separate from the rest. So I'm going to highlight this line, go to my letting, and hit the up arrow. And everything, because it's all one line of text. That is awesome. Okay, so I could highlight from here. Let's click here, see if we can get that. Nope. All right, I want to be, oops, in my type. So let's see if I can get this. Command, click inside with my type. Command A for all. And now let's set this all to 150. There we go. Now I just separated the whole thing. But it all moves as one. It takes a little bit of getting used to. You got to practice with this. So review this video. But you can create anchored objects which is great because you don't have to tear apart your designs a little more complicated advanced feature but once you get the hang of it you're going to be set for any designs you want like state quarters there we go anchored objects if i hit w you can see that these are anchored in place now if i click and drag i can move them i can't move them over here but I can definitely move them up and down. So just be aware of that. You don't want to hit these and start dragging them around, okay? But 
you deal with your type and you move it that way. Anchored objects. Play with it. It's fun to work with. There we go.